oggi eh, non c'è più la cultura sartoriale oggi guardano più che altro che costi poco lo mettono sei mesi le cose e poi li, li, li cambiano e noi siamo così tutto bello ben fatto però oggi brava gente chi c'è ancora che apprezza queste cose <ride> Young people are beginning to dress up again. They see the, all the films, and when you look at all films, the black and white, people were so immaculately dressed. To think of the future, you need to know the past. We have evidence that our family was weaving fabrics since 1663. This company, you know, we have some workers that are second or third generations. So my father was working with the father of the children I'm working with now and uh, my grandfather was working with their grandfather, and so there's a very strong family sense. My grandfather had just five jackets in his whole life, but those five jackets were holy jackets, so he looked after his jackets like sons. Here in this factory, we make fabric for the Ladlo suit. Every year, Vitale Barberis Canonico produces seven million meters of fabric. Each centimeter is checked by human eye. Passion, basically, it's love for something. It's something that makes your heart beat, I think. The passion that people work in what they do here cannot be reproduced anywhere else. We believe that the fabrics that we make here is the best in the world. This is my first suit. Wearing a suit, I feel more confident. Actually, I think that wearing suits is a kind of, needs a kind of education. L'abito non deve essere soltanto una cosa per coprire, ma deve vestire, dovrebbe essere una seconda pelle. You know, a man in suits is not the same man without suit. With beautiful raw material, you can make beautiful fabrics. With beautiful fabrics, you make beautiful suits. And the beautiful suits, it's a great pleasure of life. Suits is like poetry in some ways. When you are 20, you don't understand the deepest meaning of the poem. Then when you are 50, you read the same poem and you can discover new things. <laughs>